so, what's your question? So, so my question is... One question, I will answer and then so I will ask him. My question is because Muslims will say... Yeah. Uh, Muhammad was a final prophet sent to all mankind yeah. and that the Quran is pre preserved in Arabic uh -huh. and it, this is the religion for mankind because they'll say Jesus was sent to the Jews in his own language right uh -huh. so in the Quran uh -huh. it says in 2252 it uh -huh. says and we did not send before you any messenger or prophet except when he spoke oh, sorry wrong wrong one it's 14.4. 14, 14.4, 14, four, says, yeah. And we did not send any messenger except speaking in the language of his people to state clearly for them and Allah sends astray whom he wills and guides and whom he wills. And also, just one more verse, in 26.195, it says in clear Arabic. So the Quran was sent in clear Arabic mm -hmm. for the people. So my question is to you yeah. that if Muslims today do not 95% of Muslims do not speak do not speak Arabic yeah. how is the Quran a book for these people when they don't understand it because if I take them an Arabic Quran yeah. they cannot read it uh -huh. and even the Arabic yeah. Muslims do not even understand it themselves and I'll give you an example uh -huh. in 36 1 it says Yasin so uh -huh. I want you to answer me what does Yasin mean uh -huh. And how is the Quran a book for all the people? Because it says we do not send a prophet uh -huh. unless it's in their own language. Uh -huh. So how are those people supposed to understand the Quran if they don't speak Arabic? Okay, so he's asking two questions. The first one, mm. if the Quran was revealed in Arabic language and was meant to be for all mankind, and some Muslims do not understand not Arabic. Not some 95%. Okay, whatever, 95 as you think. Okay, 95%, let's say, according to him, for the sake of argument, how can Quran be for all mankind if it's for it's written in Arabic and 95 according to him, 95% of clear Muslims Arabic. do not speak Arabic? And the other question is, if the Quran was revealed in Arabic to be understandable, no, the other question, what, what does 36.1 mean? That's what yeah, I'm coming. See, yeah, I'm coming. Because it says clear, yeah, it's revealed in clear Arabic. Yeah, okay. So the context of the that verse where Allah said, we have revealed the Quran in Arabic, so you may understand. There's a question here, the context. Always the context is more important. Is it the context, the meaning? or the co and, and is it about the context or the meaning, the word itself? So if we go to Quran, if I just take one verse of the Quran and I don't read the rest of the Quran, of course, I'm not going to understand the Quran. Before we go to those verses, we need to go to chapter, chapter 3, verse 7. Can you open for me? Allah has told us the Quran is divided into two parts. One part is called muhkam, which is muhkamat. We know its meaning and the context. And the other one is mutashabi. Mutashabi means Allah already told me. Imagine, imagine Allah already told three, us what? three seven. Allah already told us Shall I read those, it? yeah, those who turns so away. Let me read it. Yeah, listen. It says it is He who has yeah. sent down to you yeah. the book. In it are verses precise. Yeah. They are the foundation of the book, uh -huh. and others unspecific. Thank you. As those. Wait, let me finish. As uh -huh. For those in yeah. whose their heart is a deviation, yeah. they will follow it, yeah. that yeah. of it which is unspecific, yeah. uh -huh. seeking discord uh -huh. and seeking an interpretation yes. suitable for them. Oh, okay. and, uh -huh. Wait, let me finish. The is wait, let me finish. Him. And no one uh -huh. knows its true interpretation except Allah. But those is it for you? firm oh, in you. knowledge yes. uh -huh. say we believe in it. Yeah. All of it is from our Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah. no one will be reminded except of those of understanding. Thank you. Now, let me respond. So, okay, let me, let me finish. No, I, I didn't finish. You didn't okay, ask me. No. All right. So now here. To prove, to prove yeah. you, so now here. He's buried himself. Wait, wait, wait. Why. So now here. Allah told us already, Quran is two parts. In order you, in order you to understand Yasin, according to this verse, is one of the words which Allah told us in this verse, chapter 3, verse 7. No one knows except what? Allah, do I know it? Yeah, no. He's asking me, Allah already answered and yeah. Allah said already what? 
those who turned away, they will try, they will try to question us the words which we don't even know its meaning, but only Allah knows. And Allah said what? وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَأْوِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهُ No one knows its meaning except Allah. So if you understand the context of this verse, before you ask me Alif Lamim, Yasin, Alif Lamim, Sad, you need to understand chapter 3 verse 7, where Allah said Quran is two parts. I hope that one I'm done. Now, now, now let me respond. Uh -huh. He has now buried Islam. What? And I'll tell you why. why? Tell me. Because he said there are verses which are clear and there are verses that are unclear. So the unclear clear verses is for the hypocrites like me. Right. Here's the problem. No, no. No, it's not about the way he's saying. Basically, Allah is telling us the verses, the words which we do, the words which is not clear, it's meaning we don't know, only Allah knows. Allah said the uh, non-Muslims, they criticize those words which only Allah knows. Point one, point one, point one, what he, contradiction, because one verse says it's in clear Arabic, the other one now says it's clear and unclear. Again, I will answer, I will answer that one. Yeah. Shall I answer? No, no, let me no I need to answer first yeah, this let me one, finish, otherwise you're going... Because I said I was going to respond okay. and you said well, okay. I should finish. Okay. Point two, uh -huh. he has now no criteria to identify which verses are clear and which verses are unclear. It's an assumption and I'll give you an example. Uh -huh. For example, um, where it says in the Quran, so let man observe for what he was created. He was created from a fluid ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. And when we go to Ibn Kafir, for example, he says the backbone is of the man and of the ribs of the woman. If the fluid is yellow and is fine of texture, the child will not be born except from both of them. So according to this verse, Ibn Kafir, no, no, the I'm topic. Telling, no, no, listen to what no, I'm no. saying. Listen to no, no, wait, you, let me finish you the point. Listen the topic. to my argument. You changed the topic. Listen to my point. You jumped. Let me, you jumped. You saying. was talking about wait, the words. Wait, 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 listen. Wait, 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 listen. Okay, listen to my okay. argument. He said the Quran is clear. He changed the topic And now. he said verses like Yasin are unclear. I said we don't know the no meaning, only Allah knows. Yes, he said, I said, yes, no Allah criteria. Allah already told us, wait, let me Only Allah I knows said, the yes, meaning. I said, there's no criteria to identify which verse is unclear yes. and which verse is clear. Yes. And I gave an example, so I'm going to say the, had the Quran verse again, where it says, so let man observe from what he has created. He was created from a fluid, ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. Now, according to Ibn Kafir, this verse is clear. And he says that means that the backbone, the sperm comes from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. What's so your my point? point is, What's your point the, about, about this verse? If the sperm comes from the, uh, the ribs of the woman, this means the Quran is wrong. Because now he's know, going to another way no, now. No, listen to my Now he's going about again. science. I'm going to be very no, he's going to science now. I'm going to now. say my point one science. more time. He's going to science now. now. He's going to science now. now. Wait, Come wait, to the let point. Me finish. Let no, me finish. No, no let science. Me finish. Yeah, yeah, let me finish. We are not talking about let science, yeah? Yeah, you're you philo Christian, yeah. Wait, yeah, about about science, yeah? Wait, let me Yeah, we don't want science. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want science now. He's jumped to the science now. My point is this. If he dis disagrees with Ibn Kafir's interpretation, yeah. that means the Quran is not clear, and this verse is not a clear verse. So my question is, how? Wait, wait, wait. He's jumping to the science now. Let me finish. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So let him finish. Let him finish. Is, let him finish. The how does he determine? which verse is clear and which verse is unclear. Because if we go to the scholars, yeah. they will even disagree on what the meaning of the verses are as well. He, don't worry, I got the answer. Right. He's gone to Ibn Kathir and he's not provi providing any other scholar who is opposing Ibn Kathir. All Muslims now, if you go everyone now, if you ask about science, I'm not going to that topic, I'll come so to that point. So my question, so now, so my question yeah, was, how does he know which yeah, verse is clear yeah. and which is unclear? Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, no, I know. That one, I don't want to talk about science, he's going about science. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 he's using this verse for science. No, no, he's 
said, he said, he said, no, he, no, he's saying that verse. Not all the scholars agree with Ibn Kathir, and he's lying. Okay, so we have to That's the question. The clear verse. Let me tell you. The clear verse. No, but it has channels of fluid. Brother, can I speak to him? He's gone to the science. Go on. He's gone to the science. I'm not going to answer about that one. No, no, I don't no. want to. Because I'm saying, I'm what is the meaning of this verse? Big Ben. This one, verse. One, one, let me explain one, 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 Big Ben. When yeah. 1400 years ago, God speak about. No listen, bang. listen. Yeah, okay. Speak about Big Ben. Can yeah. I speak 1400 to him? 1400 years ago, people they were saying, what are you talking about? But now they discover it. All so, right. But Islam is talking about halal, haram. This is clear. How to pray. Right. You have to worship one God. This is clear. But science. You discover, I discover, changes. Right. You discover it means someone else. But we don't discover, we don't change. Yeah. Okay, no, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not allowing him to jump off to that no, no, topic. No, no, no. Okay, let me. Should, do you want me to explain that verse? The verse basically saying mm. the sperm of the man comes from the backbone. It's about science, anyways. According yeah, to him, I don't saying, care. And the one, the woman's one comes from the ribcage. Yeah. No Muslim disagreeing about that. Yeah. We all, we all know again. that. No, no Muslim disagree about that. About what? What you said, Ibn Kathir. That, 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 you said that the sperm comes from the woman's sperm, rib. No, sperm of the man of the man yeah. came from the backbone. He said. He I said don't want the to talk about the science. Woman. No, wait, the rib of why. the woman. I'll tell you why. why, why, why. Wait, I'll tell you why. Can I speak I'll to him? Wait, no, I'll no, tell you why. why. I'll tell you why. Because why? The, the Quran uses the word tarib. What's tarib? tarib. Exactly. Tarib. You tell me. I just tell you the meaning. What? Tarib is here tarib. between the ribcage. Thank you. And it says of the woman of in the, the woman. Quran. Of the, the woman. tarib of the woman. Yes. So that means oh, okay. that the sperm comes from the backbone of the man and the tarib of For the woman, woman, which you just said agreed was the ribs. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it comes from here. Do you agree so that the sperm comes from the ribs of the woman? What? Say again? I said, do you agree sperm comes from the ribs of the woman? Do you know what is sperm first? According to Quran, wait, 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 wait. Can you wait? Shall I speak or I, I go then? Respond. Shall I go? Okay. About his wait, the earth is flat. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. go and check so your Bible. Then, so does can the Quran. You, can I? Brother, can I? Brother, brother, can I speak to him? Can I speak to him? He's asking the verse yeah. didn't mention spam first of all. In Arabic, ma, the word Allah used in this verse, in Arabic, ma is been it can be used water, it can be used in spam, it can be used what woman ejaculate. Female ejaculation. It talks both of them. So now, yes, according to science, what are you asking? I'm, Silly question. I'm asking you. I just told you. It comes from the so why are you woman. repeating? Yes. Okay. So you why are you repeating? He said the ejaculation and the water comes from the woman's rib. And now, let me tell you, let me, that, now one, now one, that one is about science. He believes yeah. science. Let me tell you, expose him. When he wants Christians, when they want, they believe science over Quran. When they want, they believe science over Bible. When they want, they believe Bible they over science. They so they're playing game. So every time they go, whichever suitable them. Now I can give a simple verse in the Bible. Many science wait, wait, errors. Many science because errors. My, the second part of my question, okay. remember, was the Arabic was for the mankind. Oh, that question will come. Then you, I will ask you questions. So the next question he was asking, basically, the next question was asking, it was if the Quran was sent to all mankind, yeah. how come it was revealed in Arabic? Yeah. And he claimed 95% of Muslims do not know how to speak because Arabic. The Quran let said, me finish. Let me just finish. Let's okay. finish. I know your verses. Yeah. Yeah. So the answer is here. Go on, Siraj. Which also he believes the Bible was sent is for all the nations. And he believes the Bible was written in Greek. One percent of Christians speak Aramic. Greek. Aramic. Uh, one percent. Of, no, wait. No, wait. 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 One percent, even zero plus five, zero point five percent, speaks Christianity, Greek language. Therefore, according to him, he's saying the Quran, if it was sent in, in if it was sent in Arabic language, and ninety-nine five percent of Muslims do not know how to speak Arabic. Therefore, Quran is not for all mankind. Which same applies to him. If the Bible was written in Greek language and 0.5% of Christians speak Greek language, that means how can the Bible be for all mankind? I'm coming to the other point. Can I respond? No, I'm coming still to that point. So same, we applies. What you're asking me, because same as your the question. The Bible doesn't okay, say wait. 
that, Wait. He, that, that it was written in Greek. So all people would understand that language. The Quran okay, says wait, wait. I, a I'm prophet asking. was sent to each no. nation in their language. The Bible doesn't say that. Okay. So therefore, you cannot hold the Bible to no, the same. No, I can hold because no. you believe. No, look. But the Bible doesn't he believes, say that, make look, that claim. The Bible believes, doesn't say we sent to a, no, a prophet but, to each okay, nation in okay, their language okay, for wait, them wait, to understand. Wait, can I, yeah, please, yeah, brother? Yeah, the brother, claim is from the Quran. Please wait. Yeah, please wait. Yeah. I'm asking a simple question. Do you believe the Bible, the original language was written in the Bible was Greek? No. Well, language was written in the Bible. Oh, no, no, they spoke. No, original, the Bible, no, the original in, in text of, written, of the Bible. When yeah, it was written in Greek. But, Greek, thank you. Jesus okay, spoke. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Jesus so now, Greek. you justifying your point about the Quran. Quran cannot be for all mankind because it was written in Arabic and 95% of Muslims do not speak Arabic. Correct. And my no, point is... you have to correct because my point was because in the Quran it says uh -huh. specifically that we sent a prophet to each nation each in nation. their language. Uh -huh. If the Quran didn't say that, I wouldn't make that argument. Okay. So that, that's wait, the wait, difference wait, between wait. the Okay, no, no, I'll answer the Bible that question. I got that message, question. But if the Quran says... I will answer that question. Specifically, a prophet to each nation No, look nation at me. I'm language, talking to you because to you're diverting the topic. Then the Quran I got the answer. means that the Arabic is only for the Arabic no. people, not the mankind. No. Contradiction. Because no contradiction. No contradiction. Why? If I write a book in my language, some scholars now, universities, they write a book in their own language. It doesn't mean it's only for his people. Doctors from around the world, they write the a book. Quran says Wait, you're not dealing with according that. to Islam, I can give you many verses. That's why it says in clear Arabic. Shall I, shall I speak? Shall I speak? Now, Quran, we translate it in many languages. People understand it. The main point of the Quran is what? To understand. So now all Muslims understand the Quran, know about Islam. That is sorted out. The second point is that verse is using as an evidence that the Quran can never be for all mankind just because Quran was written in Arabic language doesn't prove that. Because many verses in chapter 7, verse 158, Allah told us, say, O oh, Prophet Muhammad, I'm a messenger to all of you, mankind. This is clear. Do not go to that verse where it says Quran was written in Arabic language. Therefore, it's only for Arabic. Doesn't prove Quran. There is no single verse where in the Quran says Quran is only for Arab people. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad was sent only to Arab people. In the Bible, we have where Jesus said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Only is only. In the Quran, you will never find where it says, where, yeah, where it says, in the Quran, there is nowhere it says, Prophet Muhammad was sent only to Arab. A day he shows me that verse does not justify his point. Now, before you reply, before you reply, both. 60% of English language is in Arabic. You know that? No, no, brother. Do not oh, get seriously, seriously. So now I'm asking my question. Yes, yes, go and learn. I'm asking my question. Words. Give me an English wait, word. Wait. Give, me, words. give me one. One? Give me, yeah. Sure? Please wait. Cup. 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 Yeah, okay. it's Arabic. It's cup. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's Arabic. Now, now, no, no, worry. no, I don't want to. Brother, brother, come talk to him then. Come talk to him then. Listen to his argument. He said that the Bible, I mean the Quran, can be translated and given to all the people in their languages. Yeah, yeah. But when Christians use that example for the Bible, yeah. he doesn't accept it. Uh, did, I say, say? did I say that? He says, uh, did I say that? Says, wait, he says, did I say that? Let me respond. Can I respond? Okay. Can I respond? Okay. Okay. He will say, I say that. that Jesus uh -huh. was sent to the lost sheep of Only, Israel. Yeah, okay. But Only. even we have another contradiction in the Quran because why, why, why? the name Injil yeah. is a Greek word. So the question would be, why was Jesus a Hebrew given a Greek book to give to his why was Jesus given a Greek book for Hebrew him. speakers? According because to him, Injil yeah. is According not an to Arabic him. word, no. it's not to a him. Hebrew word, word. Yeah. it's a Greek, Greek word. word. So why, Muslims explain to me, would Allah give a prophet a Greek book for people that only spoke Aramaic or Hebrew? You tell, you tell me. So I'm it's asking a simple, no so, contradiction. So let me, let me just no contradiction. According to you, in Jil, according to you, in mm. Greek, it means, do you know a word, sometimes a word, like now, let me give you a word in Polish, riba. In Polish, riba, it means fish. 
but in Arabic, riba means interest. Does that mean what does Quran? I, what does Injil so, mean? Injil, according to you, in Islam, I'm does asking it, you what Injil, does it, mean? it means the book was given to Jesus. Nothing so, else. Injil means the book was given that, to yes, Jesus. Yes, that's, that's a lie. Meaning. Yes, what is lie? Tell me in the Quran. Tell me in the Quran. So the word okay. is up to you. The, really okay. Because you can check any can Islamic give you. scholar. Okay. The now, word Injil does no, not mean scholars, book that was given listen, to. I'm Jesus. asking you, let's go to a dictionary. No, no, wait, wait. Do you please, call, please, do you please, call, please, 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 No, please wait. Do you call no, the please, Bible wait. the Injil? Yes or no? No. So he doesn't know. Ah, well, doesn't know. Because it's like, Injil is can a answer, Greek word. Answer, so my question was, I'm if answering, Jesus... I'm answering. Okay. I'm saying to you, simple. Mm. Allah told us Jesus in chapter, in chapter 57, verse... 57, verse 27. Allah told us Jesus was given Injil. Right. And another verse, Allah told us Jesus was given a book. And what does the that Injil book mean? That book is the name of the book which was given. Injil is the name of the book which was given to and Jesus. what does that name mean? That's the definition. Torah, we say... What to, wait, what I'm does coming. Torah mean? I'm coming. Can, can I speak, please, wait. Injil, you Brother, come, you want word? to talk to yeah. him? Do you want yeah. to talk to him? Yeah. I wanna, I don't no, let's let letter. No, don't worry, let her. In, listen. Injil. Injil is a name. It's like no. me saying. Wait, wait, wait. That's it's like me saying. Wait, wait. I've come oh, with a yo, Chinese yo, yo. book. You're asking me. People. You're asking me a question. Some names in some names in Arabic or even in English, some names don't have meaning. But in another language, it could be have meaning. So if Injil has a meaning in Greek, in Arabic, doesn't have meaning. The meaning of an Injil is the book which was given to Jesus. It's like now, three. Does three have meaning? Tell me the meaning of three. Three is a... Is a is three a, is, is a, a name is a or is have a meaning? No, I'm asking. Is three, this three have a meaning? No. Thank you. Therefore, Injil in Islam doesn't have meaning. So don't go to another language. But hold on. So a tree is an English net word, okay, what is but the Injil is a Greek no, word. No, That's my no, point. Look, Why has no, I'm been saying Injil. Wait, wait, wait. Injil is a Greek word. Please wait. Don't word. get involved. Anyone don't go get home involved. and check what is the origin of Injil. Listen, according to you, according to you, no, according to you, no, according to you, Injil, it means in Greek language, Evangelium. the good news. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It okay. means good news. Okay, in thank Arabic, you. In Arabic, okay. that's Wait, okay. Which wait, is good wait. news. Wait, so what does Bible mean? The Bible means a collection of books. Bi collection? It's from the Greek Biblia. Thank you. Okay, thank which you. Which means a collection okay, of books. Okay, thank you. So, so I know okay. The word meaning, okay, okay, thank you. you. So now, it's in like, Arabic, it's in like Arabic, me saying, what's masjid? But well, let me help you. Okay, what's masjid? It's like me in saying, Arabic, it's like me saying the meaning of Quran is recitation. No, no, I'm asking now. What is the meaning of... What is the meaning of masjid? Masjid, masjid, you know masjid? is like a place or whatever. Place what? Uh, um, like place of worship. Worship. Does it have the word itself? Does it have meaning? You tell me. It's like three masjid. I explain to you. In Arabic, some names. Now, Zabur. Do we don't know the meaning. Zabur is what? Do you know what Zabur is? It has no meaning. It has no meaning. Same course. as in Arabic, it's Injil. doesn't have you, meaning. You're missing the point. No, because, I just told you. Because one, Jesus was given the good answer. news, Zabur. which in Arabic no, is according to you, no, according to you, is the same. What's Torah? And to, what's to, Torah? What's you, Torah? You've, not, what's you've Torah? missed my point. The name is a Greek word. Talking. So Masjid is Please. an Arabic no, word. No, according Tree to you. is an English word. Injil is a Greek word. So why are you giving a Jewish man I a Greek just, book? No, according to you, yes. But according to Islam, we From don't believe. From all your scholars. No. Yes. No, according to you. No. No, don't lie about scholars. Yes. We Shall know. I prove it to no, you? No, yeah, yeah, Injil. Shall I prove no. it to you? Prove, prove it to me. Okay. I want Arabic nice. word in Jean. What does no, it nice. mean? I will go from your Islamic sources. Okay, now Islamic wait here. Yeah. No Christian sources. No, no. That say wait. Jew is a Greek word. I'm going yeah, to show him. I'm going to show him. Look, you search up. You search up. Mm. What is the meaning? What's the what's the uh, name of the book? Which what book was given to Jesus? Any Muslim now here, they They'll will tell in you in Jean. Yes. They will never tell you the meaning. The because book, they don't know the meaning. you need to understand the point. Does any name have meaning in yes. English? Any name? A name? No, a name. Does all names have meanings? Yes or no? When I ask no, you I'm the asking. Meaning. No, according to Arabic, I want, I don't care. Arabic, does Arabic, the word in Jil, in the dictionary of Arabic, does it mean good news? Yes or no? Because if something no, is a noun, No, because I don't want now. I'm asking again. No, I'm asking a simple question, yeah? 
you use Arabic, you use the Quran. Yes. Show me in an Arabic dictionary where it says in Jil it means good news. I don't want Greek. In Jew doesn't I don't have want a Greek. Uh, it has in, have in Islam. Zabur doesn't have meaning. Torah doesn't have meaning. But we know Torah, we call it the book which was given to Moses. Zabur, it doesn't have meaning. It's the book which was given to David. And Injil doesn't have meaning. We believe the book was given to Jesus. It's called Injil. Show me now, I'm asking you, according to Arabic, if Quran was revealed in Arabic. Now, show me the meaning now, of Injil in I the respond. Arabic dictionary. Where it says Injil, it means gospel, good news. Nowhere. But in the Quran, Allah told us Jesus was given a book. Yeah, we, we, and we, you know we, what? We if he was given a book, yeah. what is the name of that book? Allah told us it's Injil. He never told us the meaning. The meaning okay. yeah? yeah? So Zabur is the same. Why can you not use Zabur in another language to justify your point? Zabur, it means this. Why do you only find, criticize the word Injil? Now, he has no. buried Islam. Why? No, because what? Let what? Me why, 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 why? 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 Talk. Why? Now he's saying. Talk. And now I'm asking now my question. Yeah? Now, now I'm done with these questions. About now, why, why, they, why the Arabs in the time of the Prophet Muhammad they didn't say nothing about the Indian? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'll even answer his question. No, because, I'm asking. Because even after I'm done, this, now this, I'm asking my this, questions. The, the Ethiopian Christians uses use the word Injil. So this is where it was taken from. It's taken from the Greek. So my point was he keeps saying that the word has no meaning. That's not even my argument. My argument was very simple. A tree is an English word. You don't go to China and they have the word tree. They have a Chinese name for this very same thing. So my point was, why would a Jewish man have the, a book that I has a answer. Greek name? Just repeat I didn't the same ask name. for the meaning. I said, why is the same name thing. Greek? Just like if I say this is a phone, I'm not going to give you a Chinese name for this. It's, phone is an English word. So in the same sense with any book, if it's given to a people in their language, you don't name the book in a different language. I'm not asking for the meaning. I just give him an I'm, I'm not an, asking for the I give, meaning of I, the word, but where the name comes from, because in Jew no, is a Greek word. No, according to you, is a Greek language. I told him in the Quran, Allah used the word riba. Riba, it means interest. Does that mean Quran was revealed in Polish? Because in Polish, riba means fish. So you're using what riba, the word riba. If I go to Polish language, riba is fish. So shall I, can I interpret, translate the word riba in Quran? It means fish because in Polish, it's fish. No. It's getting you so he's going to di different it's languages. Come to the Arabic. No point. You have no leg to stand.